This is a continuation of the uh, inverter and solar panel uh, videos. Uh, just like to point out before we start that this is a non-commercial channel. So all those companies are, uh, who are trying to contact me saying, oh, we'll do wonderful things from, for you and by the way, we'll rip you off and take all your copyrights. Just don't bother anymore. Uh, this is non-commercial, it's all about open source learning. Now as you can see from the fog, it's pretty cold, it's mid-January, but the sun's out. So I'm just taking this opportunity to show you the next part of this project. You saw the first part in the winter solstice video, and uh, recently I did a grid inverter um, video on the Aurora ABB so uh, that is connected to the panels that I'm about to show you so with that let's move on so here we are as you can see it's up against that tall hedge and this is just a small place where you get quite a lot of sun in winter just one of those little windows uh, and because it's up against the hedge then if I want to maintain the hedge cut it this that and the other I can just attach the tractor to this and move it and here's the axle it's quite wide to give good stability and uh, the frame is offset I thought that would probably give it uh, even more stability and it's just a piece of heavy duty eye section beam that was at one point wrong wobbly camera here let's have a look a gate post and then these bits of scaffolding tube welded on and if we come round we can see some three inch tube welded to the wheel so it's steel on steel it doesn't matter because it won't be going very far or very quick it's not as if it's going down the road And I did think that one could make a storage shed out of this, but um, the only downside of that would be uh, you can't see to back it then because there's a bit of building in the way. So that sort of swings and roundabouts. If you've got a small place, you could put some sort of reasonably large box affair on this. And store lots of stuff in it which would again would make it more stable loads of weight on the bottom which is why I've got that lump of 12 by 12 uh, pitch pine there just because it's there and why not and then these are 5 by 2 or 6 by 2 parts of an industrial racking system and then some 2b2 box section it's quite robust as you see there got some old bits of drawbar off a trailer which are 4x2 welded in place and again and then on the end there there's a piece of 4x2 box section on its side 2 inch upwards so that really triangulates things somewhat and strengthens it up I was going to put cross braces between these uprights but it doesn't seem to need it so let's get in closer so the drawbar removable drawbar so you don't trip over it um, comes this end and those two extra extensions there 
ideal for putting blocks underneath and then the black cable there which is armoured cable takes the high voltage DC about 150 volts into this box and then the panels are wired into that box now then just as an interesting fact let's have a look at how the panels are mounted so here's one of the uprights and it goes up and then there's this cross piece there set at 25 degrees so it's sort of triangulated because it's not square the whole frame's not square because it's got this angled top and then the panels are mounted to this two inch angle iron and those angle irons which run the full length are bolted to this angled box section they're adjustable so you can put it together with ease and take it apart with ease and then the panels are clipped onto and bolted onto these two opposite facing pieces of angle iron because this one here is facing upwards and that one there is facing downwards and of course all these panels are wired in series so we'll just go and have a look at the inverter we're on wobbly camera here so here's the inverter as we saw earlier on 640 watts from five panels you'll think well that's not very good but it's not bad considering it's the middle of January it's about 11 o'clock in the morning the Sun's not at its highest but it's still pretty low uh, if you want to see about the level of the Sun in this area in winter go and see the solar video the solar solstice video that I put up on the 21st of December last year so there you go the thing about this uh, mobile trailer as I've said before you can move it about get it out the way and for any of your budding entrepreneurs it may be a way where if you mount the grid tie inverter on the steel frame underneath the panels where it's out of direct sunshine but plenty of ventilation because they're IP65 quality waterproofing so you don't want it in direct rain but otherwise they're fine it could be a little mobile unit that could be just sort of put in somebody's garden and take a mains connection to it just a thought <laughs>